This is Dog Breeds 101. And for those of you who are the first time in this channel please consider subscribing. Today's video is about Bedlington Terrier's Dog Breed. The Bedlington Terrier Dog Breeds has the appearance of a little lamb. Bedlington has pear shape. Head is narrow deep and rounded. The muzzle is strong with no stop. The arm and shaped eyes are small and deep set. The low set ears are triangular with rounded tips. The chest is deep and the back is arched. They are different from other terrier breeds with their arched backs and long legs. The tail is low set, thick at the root, and tapers to a point. The Bedlington has a thick double coat of a mixture of hard and soft hair standing out from the skin. Bedlington terriers come in a variety of coat colors. Blue, blue, and tan, sandy, sandy, and tan, liver, and liver and tan. Tan markings may appear over the eyes on the chest and legs and rear. Bedlington Terrier puppies start life with darker coats that lighten as they move toward maturity. The Bedlington Terrier was developed in and named after the mining town of Bedlington in the country of Northumberland. England in the early 19th century. The original name for the Bedlington Terrier was the Rothbury Terrier, named after the district of Rothbury, located on the English border. About 1825 the breed was renamed the Bedlington Terrier, after the Bedlington Mining Shire. It was also used as a vermin hunter by the miners of Bedlington. The miners exploited its gameness as a fighting dog in the pits and hunters used them as retrievers. Both the Otterhound and Dandy Dinmont Terrier are possible contributors to the breed. Some breeders, especially those in England will cross Bedlingtons with Whippets and Greyhounds to produce what they call lurchers. The Bedlington Terriers are intelligent, playful, cheerful, and loyal to its owners making them a good family pets. Bedlington Terrier dogs are loved to spend time with its owner their children and fairly friendly to strangers and loving to children. They enjoy being the center of attention, but can become willful and stubborn if it senses its owners are meek or passive. Bedlington Terrier breed needs to learn to get along with cats and other household animals when it is young. Usually they can get along with other dogs but keep them away from those that want to dominate. Bedlingtons will not back down regardless of the other dog's size and are known to be terrifying fighters despite their gentle appearance. Bedlington Terrier bred to hunt they will chase moving animals which means other small pets or livestock, such as rabbits, chickens, hamsters, may not live peaceably with your Bedlington Terrier. It is an enthusiastic digger. Bedlingtons are super fast runners, and need to be taught to come back when called. Like the Whippet, he's fast, and loves to chase. Be sure, you are always your dog's firm, confident. Consistent pack leader, to avoid small dog syndrome, and separation anxiety. Bedlington Terrier's weight should be proportionate with height, and within the range of 17 to 23 pounds, 8 to 10 kilograms. Weight is not exact because this breed originated as a working dog. Height of males should be 16 and a half inches at the withers, measured ground to withers, and the female's height should be 15 and a half inches at the withers, ideally. The acceptable range, however, is 16 to 17 and a half inches tall for males, and 15 to 16 and a half inches tall for the females. The Bedlingtons has many advantages over most other terriers when it comes to show grooming. Bedlington terriers breed crisp and curly coat is a mix of soft and harsh but not wiry hair. 
Bedlington Terrier dogs need to be combed at least once a week to prevent matting. Bedlington dog breeds require specialized clipping every eight weeks in order to maintain the health and beauty of their coats. It is probably best if you learn to do it yourself. Some owners prefer to learn the process they use both scissors and electric clippers while others are happy to take their bedlington to a groomer. The coat is thinned and clipped close to the head and body to accentuate the shape. Shave the ears closely leaving a tassel on the tips. On the legs the hair is left slightly longer. Bedlington Terrier breeds should be brushed weekly and clean the pluck inside the ears. Bedlington Terrier's nails should be trimmed on regularly because long nails can be harm the dog and as well as problems while walking and running. Although frequent bathing will not dry out skin as it does on so many other breeds it should not be washed too often or the coat will become lank which is not considered appropriate for the breed. Bradlington Terrier breeds is one of the dog breeds that are to be shown require higher levels of grooming. The Bedlington Terrier dog needs ample of exercise to lower the risk of mischievous behavior. Bedlingtons, like most terriers, have a fair amount of energy and require regular exercise to stay fit and happy. Despite their lamb-like looks, Bedlingtons were bred to chase small animals, and that's what they do. They need to be taken for a long daily walk. Routine exercise can make this breed suitable for apartment living bedlington terriers exercise requirements are easily met making them adaptable to living in an apartment or house or on a farm they are somewhat active indoors so regular play time and a long walk every day are sufficient they enjoy retrieving playing with children jogging as well as curling up with you quietly Many Bedlington dogs enjoy participating in agility, obedience, tracking, and earth dog competitions. Early socialization and puppy training are recommended for all dogs. Though Bedlingtons can be stubborn, they are also both intelligent and eager to please. Bedlingtons do not respond to harsh training methods or physical correction, which can lead to a battle of wills rather than to obedience. Positive reinforcement techniques, such as using praise and food as rewards, are much more successful. The Bedlington Terriers breed should do well on a high quality dog food. Whether commercially manufactured or home prepared, with your veterinarian supervision and approval. Any diet should be appropriate to the dog's age, puppy, adult, or senior. Some dogs are prone to getting overweight, so watch your dog's calorie consumption and weight level. Treats can be an important aid in training, but giving too many can cause obesity. Learn about which human foods are safe for dogs, and which are not. Check with your vet, if you have any concerns about your dog's weight or diet. Clean, fresh water should be available at all times. Bedlington Terrier's dog breed may have a serious inherited liver problem, known as copper storage disease. They are also prone to hereditary kidney disease, PRA, thyroid problems and eye problems, such as cataracts, and retinal disease. Bedlington Terriers are a healthy breed, with a long lifespan of between 11 to 16 years. They are prone to copper toxicosis a hereditary disease in which copper builds up in the liver, causing damage to the organ.
Bedlington Terrier breeders have been aware of the problem of copper toxicosis since the early 1980s, but did not have any reliable way to test for the disease other than liver biopsies. This disease occurs in approximately 5% of Bedlington Terriers. The Bedlington is generally a healthy breed, and responsible breeders will screen their breeding stock for health conditions such as hip and elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, von Willebrand's disease, a bleeding disorder, thrombopathia, and certain eye issues. As with all breeds, a Bedlington's ears should be checked regularly, and the teeth brushed daily. Recommended health tests from the National Breed Club, Copper Toxicosis DNA Test, Cardiac Exam, Patella Evaluation, Ophthalmologist Evaluation. Thank you for watching this video. Comment if you have experiences with the Bedlington Terrier's dog. Also like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more to come and hit the bell icon to get the notification.